What's going on guys, I'm going back to another How I Would Have Made It video and today we're going to be talking about how I would have made The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now this of course was requested by Eddie Brock Venom, I'll have the, the everything in the description about him. So anyway, let's, uh, let's talk about this. So, as we know, the movie was a little bit of a clusterfuck, <laughs> let's be honest here, as far as like the main plot and the main theme of the movie. So, first of all, obviously, I would rework the storyline. Um, I would have him not be paying attention to his, you know, his dad and his mother. I would not even have that. That was the first scene. That was the first shot of the movie, was his parents. That would be completely removed. There was even a deleted scene in the original where he even sees his dad or at the grave or something. Like, Gwen takes his grave. It just... No, why is he here? Like, it, I know, like that that doesn't get him out of here. I, I get it. In like the Ultimate Universe, his parents were like Shield agents or whatever. But, but no, get him out of here. Okay, they're gone. Whatever, get him out of here. We we didn't even need that scene. Let's be honest, because it had absolutely no 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 payoff for the end of the movie. So it just was not needed. Um, even though I do remember him, like, you know hearing what his dad had to say to him and all that, but, you know, with, with the video files he found in, like, the subway, I guess? I don't know. That part of the story, I would, again, completely remove. We don't need that. I think what the main plot should have been and how I would have done it is they're out of they're they're out of high school, okay? Let's focus on, you know, them in, a re in the relationship that they're in. Let's have them pay attention to that, and let's Let's not just have, like, one or two times where, you know, Peter sees uh, Gwen's dad and, you know, he has doubt about if he should, you know, continue being with her because of he feels guilty about, you know, what, of course, what happened to her dad, so he's going to be a little bit, a little bit distant. I get that. I would have focused more on that. Again, that would be, like, the main, main storyline for this, obviously, is is what Peter should do. Should he stay with Gwen or should he just get rid of, you know, keep, stay away from her to keep her safe? That would be the main plot of the movie, yeah, honestly. Now, for the villains, I would want Electro to, act, to actually stay in the movie. The villains, I actually don't have a problem with. Well, maybe except Rhino at the end, but... Um, but Electro, Green Goblin... They can stay. Like, I don't have a problem with them as far as, like, them being villains in the movie. I think that it was good, it, you know, with, I think it was it was pretty good how they did that. But as far as Electro's character, okay, let's talk about his character. He was a little... Uh, what's, the, what, what's the best way I can describe him? Um, socially awkward, stereotypical nerd... Um, you know, just all in all, just, just, just a bad character. So what I would do is I would do this. Maybe what we would do, let's say Max Dillon, like, is a friend of Peter Parker's or something. Maybe, like, when Peter Parker and him are talking, like, maybe, um, they're, you know, he's, he's talking to him about, like, oh, Spider-Man saved me and all that, you know, and, you know... That would be a more of a personal connection, I feel like, if he, you know, when he fights Max than they did with, oh, Spider-Man knows Max Dillon. Um, I don't know, I would have did it something like that, because I believe in, like, Spectacular Spider-Man and a few other iterations, he does know who Max Dillon is, uh, and uh, he, of course, knows who he is while he fights him. So I think that would have been a little bit better uh, besides the, you know you know, what they did with it. Uh, as far as, uh, let's, let's go to, you know, Goblin now. So, I think my one problem I feel like I had with his character probably was just the actor. I think I would have changed the actor for him. And I, and I know that sounds a little mean, but I think for Harry... I feel like he should have been someone a little, not too, like, 
because you want a, you want a, you want you don't want perfection, but you don't want like you, you need the right person to play Harry. And I know, and I know it's like, oh well, you know, why can't anyone play Harry? It's got to be the rich, you know, standard playboy. Well, he's not a playboy, but you know, he he's got to be, you know, confident. I want him to feel confident. I understand that, um, you know, his dad's dying and his dad's a piece of shit. Blah blah blah. I get that, but I feel like in this movie, what I would do. I don't know. I, I, I don't want him to be so glum because I would rather focus on Peter being glum rather than Harry being a little bit more, uh, you know, of a spark for him. Like, you know, just someone hang out with, have fun with. We'd actually see them hang out more, you know, you know, actually be friends instead of them just talking for like, uh, what was it, five to ten minutes of screen time before they fight each other. So obviously I'd want them to hang out more in this movie. Uh, and as far as the Gwen Stacy death, I would have kept it in. I would have kept the Gwen Stacy death in. Be, but I would have done it like the comic books. I would have done it on the bridge. Here's why. If you watch the movie, you see that at the end of the like close to the end of the movie, before he fights Electro, they're on the bridge, you know. Gwen is going to go to London to go go to college and you know he grabs her he puts her up he they're on the bridge you know and he's like I want to go to London with you and he's prepared to go to London with her I feel like it would have been better to do it on the same bridge where where they wanted when when they were talking on the bridge I would have it be there because it would be very you know, heartbreaking and very, like, you know, spot on to where it's like, oh, man, like, they just have, they have this amazing moment at the same spot, and this would be the spot where Peter loses the one he loves, just like in the comics. I feel like that would have been better. You know, I, I would have did the same the scene pretty much the same way, except the part where it needs to be at the bridge. And that that's honestly my only problem with it. It needs to be at the bridge, my second problem is when he webs when if you watched carefully when he like grabs her with his web, her head hits the back of the the floor, so it's saying that he just didn't make it in time. That's what this that's what that scene implied. If you read the comic books, you would know that the whiplash from his web actually kills her that i feel like would have been a little bit more better as far as like and i understand it's 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 one of those things where it's like oh we don't want to be like the comics but i feel like because of the re of the fact that he shot that scene with them on the bridge you know and how happy they were there I feel like it would have been better if they just had the same place where she dies too. So, so that's just my gripe. And I understand it's one of those things. And it could have worked. It could have worked. Harry could have could have flew her to the bridge. You could have saw Spidey swinging after him. Like it would have been, it would have been better. Instead, they just went to a clock tower, which was next to an electrical power plant. Yeah. Okay. Okay then, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I would change. I mean, as far as Rhino, I don't know. I mean, I know that that Rhino in in I think it's the Ultimate Comics. He wears the robot suit. He, um, I don't know. I don't think I would have put him in it. I think I would have kept him out of it. I think uh, I would have focused more on Peter dealing with if he should if he should keep Gwen in his life, you know, have him talk to Harry about it, have him have moments with Max and his struggles trying to, you know, maybe even struggle with, hey, maybe I should just tell him that, you know, we're the same because I have powers too. You know, have one of those moments where it's like, ah, I, I want to tell him, like, I that, so he doesn't feel bad about it. But 
at the same time, it's like, I can't tell you my secret, so. So yeah, that that is how I would make The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I'd make the, I'd make the plot a little bit more simple. Um, I'd have the Gwen death as it was in the comics, pretty much. Uh, I would have Peter and Harry's relationship be closer than it was. I'd change Harry's character from glummy to a little bit more spark at, at least around peter at least around peter maybe when he's talking to his dad or whatever then he or the doctors he is a little gloomy but i feel like when he's around peter i'd want him to be a little bit more positive i don't want him to be negative because i want i want peter to feel like he can talk to harry about his problems right so i that's what i would do and and plus it would be one of those you know you, you know it would be like one of those things where it's like oh you don't really know what's what's going on with that person beneath you know beneath the surface you know like he, he's just putting on a mask he's putting on a show he's really completely screwed up as far as harry's character um but he's when he's around peter he just plays it off so i feel like that would have been a little bit more better you know instead of you know what we got here with that so anyway guys let me know what you guys think do you guys like this a lot more be a lot better or do you think that this movie was completely unsalvageable or do you think that this movie shouldn't just not even have happened i don't know let me know in the comments and uh, until then guys i'm out of here up up and away see you guys